Hi everyone, Danielle here. So I don't know about you guys, but I feel like in this house, popcorn needs to be a food group all on its own. This family eats so much popcorn. So we use our popcorn makers probably at least four to five times a week. Some nights, both of them are going. So I wanted to show you how quick and easy it is to make fresh popcorn at home without any of the chemicals. If you've ever bought the bagged microwave popcorn, those bags are full of chemicals. Take a look at the ingredients or even open up one of those bags before you pop it and you will actually see what it looks like on the inside. So the great thing with this is you can control your ingredients. You can have butter, you can have no butter, you can put a little bit of oil in it, you can do kettle corn, you can do virtually any type of popcorn that you like. So let me show you how easy it is. These are our two sizes. This is our regular size, which does um, five cups. And then this is our family size, which does 12 cups. So I'm gonna take this one right here. Great thing is when you go to store it, it stores flat like that. So you just push it in the center. And then your cap is the great thing because that is your measuring tool for your popcorn kernels. So you're just going to do a full cap. The one thing I find um, is that I recommend buying name brand kernels like Orville Redenbacher. Uh, they just pop better. Also make sure that your popcorn is fresh, okay? You're gonna dump them in. Oh, make sure they all go in the bowl. Um, dump them in the bowl like that and you're all set. So you can add some butter. You can add butter into the cap if you like or what I sometimes do is I just take a little bit of butter and I just pop them right on top of the kernels like that because what's gonna happen is as this heats, the butter's going to melt and it's gonna distribute all over your kernels. So you can do it either way. Lid goes on like this. And if you have oil or butter in here, when you put the cap on, you need to leave it open. If you are doing just plain popcorn with nothing on it, then you can close the cap. Now this is gonna go into my microwave. Every microwave is a little bit different. So in the beginning, you do have to kind of play with your timings. For my microwave, it's two minutes and 30 seconds. The key with it is you want to put it on the outside of your turntable. Don't put it right in the middle because then it only turns like this and your popcorn can have a tendency to burn. If you put it on the outside, it's gonna rotate um, better and it's going to cook more evenly and you're not gonna have burnt popcorn. So if you wanna come with me out of the microwave, we'll pop this in. So remember, put it on the outside of the turntable like that, close your door and set your time. Okay, so popcorn's done. So a little tip for you is that when you first get your popcorn maker, just stand by your microwave and test the timing. And if you hear the popcorn stopping popping for about two seconds, then stop your microwave and then you'll know how long your microwave is. So here we go. Let's see. So just be careful, it's gonna be really hot. wish you guys could smell. It smells so good. So this is going to be a snack for later. Anyway, microwave popcorn maker. Couldn't live without it. Have a great day.